Coworkers' pneumoconiosis, or black lung disease, is caused by long-term exposure to coal dust, which is common in coal miners and others who work with coal. Most who might have black lung disease in our area end up traveling long distances to see a doctor since the current law states that only board-certified pulmonary specialists can perform exams. I spoke with Governor Andy Bashir, Kentucky House of Representatives member Angie Hatton, and CEO of Pikeville Medical Center Donovan Blackburn about House Bill 239, which would allow qualified physicians to perform exams for potential black lung cases. I believe by doing the right thing, by addressing this problem and so many others, we lead with our values in a way that shows this Commonwealth, but also this world. What amazing people we have right here in Eastern Kentucky. So no doctors in the Eastern Kentucky coal fields or Western Kentucky coal fields currently are qualified to be B readers. And B reader doctors have their testimony given, given presumptive weight in black lung hearings. And the presumptive weight doctors are the ones who are ruled to be correct. So we need doctors from the coal fields that are easily accessible to minors um, without traveling all day long. And we need um, the doctors who were doing a great job already to be able to serve their clients in the coal fields. Uh, my husband worked 27 years underground uh, before he went to work for the state and uh, I've seen it firsthand. I know the sound of a man's lungs turning black. It's nothing that you ever want to have to see or hear. It's a terrible way to die. It's a painful way to die. There is no cure. There's lung transplant, which a lot of them aren't qualified for. And I'm tired of seeing people that I love wait so long for a hearing that they pass away before they ever get their benefits. Uh, listen, our coal miners help build uh, not only uh, this community in our state, but this country. Uh, they, they powered uh, this nation for so many years. In Kentucky, they provided us the low-cost energy that helped us bring in so many of our employers that are now uh, our largest anchor employers all across the state and everybody should be treated fairly when they work hard. And for our coal miners, all too often that hasn't happened. Whether it was our black jewel or other miners that weren't paid for work that they did, or whether it is um, those suffering from black lung uh, that, that have to drive to Louisville or Lexington just to see a specific doctor, that's wrong. Uh, it's time we stand up for our people. Uh, and, uh, and unfortunately, our coal miners have been uh, almost under attack. It's time we change that. Well, you know, one of the things that uh, PMC did uh, last year, or about a year and a half ago, was really invest more into our black lung clinic. So having the ability of doing the initial assessment and keeping people in the area, you know, again, these are our miners. The, the, these are the people that build our country. Uh, they're our uncles, or our fathers, or our brothers, or sisters, or daughters, uh, and our mothers that went back into the abyss to really help uh, not only, again, build this region, but build this country. The very least that we can do with them is to accommodate them in a way that uh, makes healthcare accessible, to, makes, to make the assessment accessible. So I applaud uh, Angie and uh, Representative Hatton on her initiative and the governor's support and all the legislators on both sides of the aisle because this isn't, this isn't an R or D issue. Uh, this is a, an issue for Kentuckians that we need to look at and to address. So we're certainly proud uh, to do our part as a, as a hospital offering those services, uh, but likewise uh, we need to make sure that we're doing all we can to uh, protect and uh, to take care of our coal miners. It's a financial burden, it's a time burden, um, and it there's no reason for it. We have perfectly good world-class physicians in the coal fields.